clothes are out. <laughs> Good morning everyone, how are you doing? It's Paul here from Unusual Things. Just make sure my microphone is on. Yes, it is. Right, today I'm in Brompton Cemetery, um, near Fulham, near Kensington, that area, London. London, mate, isn't it? London. Um, sorry, that's the world's worst. I'm t you guys know I'm rubbish at doing accents. I'm also rubbish at controlling technology. We all know that by now. These things happen. Anyway, today I've come to see the final resting place of Tim Rose. Now, you may or may not have heard of Tim Rose. I'll tell you a bit more information about him in a moment. Um, he is an American guy that's buried here who was a musician as well. So I'll tell you a bit more about him real soon. Don't forget, if you like the video today, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel and you'll get to find out and see more of what I do. Which might be good, it might not, you never know, dear. Timothy Allen Patrick Rose, September the 3rd, 1940 to September the 24th, 2002. Timothy was an American singer and songwriter who spent much of his life in London, England, and had more success in Europe than his native country. Rock musician, singer, songwriter of the rock folk genre, he was a member of the Smoothies and the Big Three, each group containing a future member of the Mamas and the Papas. He recorded several solo albums from 1964 to 2002. Amongst his songs were Hey Joe, recorded before Jimi Hendrix had a hit with it, and Morning Dew. He died of cardiac arrest whilst being treated for cancer in London, England on the 24th of September 2002. Now I did have lots more information on Tim Rose and um, I had it all written out, but I left my information at home. So what I've given you there is a real brief, brief <laughs> description of his past. However, I'm here, I filmed it. So I'm gonna tell you the story anyway. I've told you what, what I can of it. But um, yeah, you know, to be in the big three um, before Mama Cass went on to do Mamas and Papas. So he, you know, he was in some good company with his um, music, which is great. It's always good to hear. And uh, again, another one that died quite young, really. And it always amazes me when you get these people that are like rock stars or film stars and things like that, or any, any sort of, person of notoriety when they're never buried back in their own country like um, Gary Moore for instance you know he's buried uh, in Sussex somewhere and you'd have thought he'd have gone back to Ireland um, and you know this the same here with with uh, Tim Rose an American guy but he's buried here in London you know so it's a uh, it makes you think doesn't it sometimes why why do why did a family not bring them home if they've got family of course but I don't know. Anyway, I think I found it. The grass is very, very wet today and I've worn the worst shoes ever for it. Wow, trainers. Anyway, now see, I'm disappointed because I saw the picture of Tim's grave and Man, look at it. Anyway, let's get up, let's get up close. Tim Rose, born 23rd of September 1940, died the 24th of September 2002. American shoreboarder. And like I said, like I said earlier really, um, I don't understand it when you get people that die in a foreign country and then they're buried there, why they're never taken home. But Tim is here, so bless you, Tim. Oh, my phone's having a wobbly. Wow, I'm there. Is that your acknowledgement back? <laughs> anyway, bless you, Tim. Um, and it's, it's sad, isn't it, when you see how, how his grave is, really. Like I say, when I saw a picture of it, which was probably taken a while ago, but it looked tidier, it looked up together, it looked like it had been cared for. Um, but then again, we go back to the old, do they have family here? Uh, if not, is that why no one's looking after it? Um, you know, was he well known enough for any fans to come and, and look after his grave? I don't know. So it's really difficult on those sorts of ones, isn't it? But, you know, um, I wanted to 
film it really because because of those reasons you know because uh, he was a musician and like I say his um, musical partner if you like went on to be in the Mamas and the Papas which were a massive band in themselves and then the fact that he's buried here and uh, it doesn't look like anyone's looked after his grave which is a real real shame anyway so there you go there's Tim Rose for you if you know any more information about him if you ever listen to his music, if you're a fan or anything like that, please leave your comments down below. If you've learned something new today, like I did when I was looking for it, uh, sorry I didn't have as much information as I wanted on there. These things happen sometimes. It can't be helped. I'm human. Human? I'm not human. I'm human. I'm obviously not human. And I forget things. So I forgot the information. But there you go. Anyway, I will see you all on the next one. Take it easy. See you soon. Bye-bye.